Hey, this is Brian with King Grizzly. In this video, I'm going to show you what to do about those excerpts that are just way too long. Your design was made for one or two sentences and the copy editor gave you an essay. So I'm going to show you a handy way in Elementor how to shorten up these excerpts. So you can go from something like this to something more like this, where the long excerpts get truncated with a little ellipsis. So let's take a look at how to do this. Okay, so inside of Elementor, I'm going to simulate um, what we run into oftentimes, which is uh, a layout of posts where we have the image heading and then some kind of an excerpt. I'm just manually putting in um, some text editor widgets here. But <clears throat> if you were using the, the post widget or the loop widget, uh, this would just be the same as the excerpt that's coming in. Now, Elementor does have a way, if you pull in a dynamic excerpt, uh, to limit the length. So if I was going to do that, uh, like say I'm building a loop grid item, I could click on dynamic tags, pull in the post excerpt. Since I'm not actually fetching a post, it's not going to find anything, but I'll show you. Um, you could set a length, right? Like I could say, look, limit this to 24 characters or something like that. And it would. The problem is it doesn't create an ellipsis when it cuts off the text. So then what people often do is they'll say, well, I'm going to click on advanced. And I'm just going to type one in like this. But then what I'll show you what happens. Um, so you get you'll get a scenario like this where you have a sentence that has ended and then you get three more paragraphs on the end. So you get you get four. Or if you put a space in your little after value there, then you get something like this. Or it, it just doesn't make any sense to even have an ellipsis because the the copy is so short, like if you have <clears throat> this much copy, it doesn't really make sense for there to be an ellipsis right at the end like that. Um, so it's it's not very dynamic. It's not very, very smart. And then it can end up, yeah, it can just end up looking kind of strange. So what I've figured out here is how to get uh, something a little nicer using a little bit of JavaScript. <clears throat> so what we need to do is... Uh, Put in an HTML uh, snippet, excuse me, widget. So I'll show you how that works. Um, if I click on, let me just size this down a little bit, this little icon up here with the nine boxes, I can see all my widgets. I'm going to look for the HTML widget. I drag this on my page, drop it in. Then I can put code inside of there. So I'm going to put a script tag. And then inside of it, we're going to put our JavaScript. Now, ideally, you, you don't want to drop your HTML code right on your page. I would recommend using a plugin like WP Code. Is that what it's called? Code WP, one of the two. Um, there's there's other plugins like that where you can install your code um, in in a plugin uh, snippet instead of right on your page. But just for demonstration purposes, we can put it here. And let me get that code. So this is the code. <clears throat> I actually worked with uh, ChatGPT to put it together. It's pretty handy. And <clears throat> excuse me, the way it works, anything that gets this dynamic ellipsis class. And I always thought it was ellipses, S-E-S, but I learned this week that ellipses is plural. Um, but if you're referring to a singular, it's ellipsis, I guess. I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's how I decided to class this. So anything with this class will get truncated or shortened, and it will get shortened to this number of characters. So what I'm going to do, well, I've already done on my text widgets where I want this to happen, I click on them, go to the advanced tab, and I put in that class. You see that? Um, so any any text widget that has this class, dynamic ellipsis, is going to be affected by our JavaScript. And then we can decide how long we want this to be. So once I hit update, uh, I don't know that it will happen in the um, editor view. <clears throat> in fact, if I refresh this, I still don't know if it'll run inside the editor view. Let's see. No, um, but it will run on the front end of the site. So if I hit refresh, well, we already saw the truncated version here. Now I'll show you what happens if you change the, the number of characters. Let's do something shorter like 24. And if I understand correctly, it's counting characters from like one, two, three, four, five, six. Like every every letter in space counts as a character. So 24 is not very long. But I'm going to update it. I'm going to go back to the front end, reload. Let's take a look. Yeah, pretty short, right? So I found uh, I was just using 150. I thought that looked pretty good. Uh, and so that 
seem to create a nice length. So you can just, if you <coughs> centralize that script using a, a plugin or you put it in your child theme or wherever you, you like to keep your code, uh, then all you need to do is just start adding that class throughout your site and those, those items will be shortened by that amount. In fact, you could even go to the Elementor custom code um, area. Let me show you that. We'll go to the dashboard. Go to Elementor custom code. You can install it here. So I would hit add new. And I like to type in what it is I'm doing. So JavaScript and then a title. So like dynamic ellipsis. And then you can decide where it should load. Uh, for JavaScript, I tend to load it at the end. Um, and then we can just paste it in here and then hit publish. And then we, we can choose a condition like where do we want this to happen? Uh, probably you probably want it to be available on your entire site um, if you want to be able to use that class wherever you you want um, although you may just have like one particular page that has a bunch of posts with excerpts and you could limit it to that page here by choosing uh, singular and then going to pages and then figuring out what page you want to apply that script to only that'll help with your optimization if you limit that i'm not going to save this because i already have this uh, in the page but that would be a preferable way versus just just leaving it in the page now uh, i'm not sure how to put this script into the youtube description without it getting messed up so if you want to study this and type it yourself feel free otherwise i will drop this snippet in uh, to a little text file and make it available through our little MailChimp account. So you just punch in your email, you'll get on our list, which we rarely ever send anything to, and it's just content like this. And then uh, it'll redirect you to the snippet so you can copy and paste it. So uh, hopefully this helps you uh, when you've got way too much text in your excerpts um, to have a tidy looking page. Um, yeah, all right, thanks for watching. If you like this, please consider subscribing. We'll be rolling out more content for Elementor.